So guys, we are starting our journey from uh, Dalhousie to Amritsar. As per the GPS, it, it it's gonna take around four hours twenty two minutes. We'll try to see that whether we can cover Vaga border before reaching to our hotel or not. Till that time, keep enjoying the way down to Amritsar. Clap. So guys, uh, in order to get down to Pathan Court, uh, please remember that you all have to take the route of uh, Gandhi Chowk. Uh, we were confused. We were trying to go from Subhash Chowk, but uh, locals have suggested us to go from this side. This is a shorter route as compared to Subhash Chowk's route. Panchpula. Now here, this will take you to the quality restaurant. The food is very good. Clap. which is a uh, route going from quality restaurant towards uh, inside so it is 3 kilometers from here here also you have a lot of hotels this is quite a steep road i would say uh, in comparison to the road which we took to come to our hotel via subhash chowk so this is way more steep Guys, we just stop just to take a look. So clean water, this is very clean. Very clean. Very clean. And this is a natural fall which you are seeing in front of you. This is coming from somewhere from the top. After driving in the Lozi, you will probably see these roads will become very easy task to you. And you can easily drive in third or the fourth gears. So, so okay. These roads will become okay once you'll come down from the lousy. But when you'll when you'll be going up, it will be a task, a great task for you because uh, roads are quite steep. So, yeah. Once you'll be coming down, hitting the road from the lousy to either Punjab or maybe Delhi, it will be a bread and butter walk for you. So we're easily maintaining a speed of 40-50 right now. Uh, earlier the speed was uh, when we were going up, the speed was around 30-40. So increase in speed, I would say. But uh, yeah, it will take time. 
it's a time taking process it's a time taking route you will not be able to finish this entire journey in say for couple of hours no it will not happen it will take its own sweet time keep enjoying the time lapse so guys now you can see uh, we have turned on our ac so the temperature as per the car it's 27 degrees we started our journey uh, with a temperature of 13 degrees celsius so it's almost double now we are st we have started feeling the heat of plains of north india so welcome to north india again back to ac life so guys so far so good uh, the journey has been good apart from some rough patches and uh, some bit of hint of landslides which which might have happened in last two days because it was raining very heavily in the lousy so i believe it must have also rained in the adjacent peaks so which would have caused uh, the landslides um, but it hardly matters if you are okay with driving you can probably drive it's not that easy like shimla drive it's uh, because you can reach the lousy but after the lousy it will be a task for you so i would suggest either rent a bike or probably hire a cab there because uh, i've shown you guys the taxi union which is near to uh, gandhi chowk and then you have a similar taxi union in uh, near subhash chowk so probably you can hire a cab rate list we were not able to capture so eventually you'll have to figure out once you reach there quick update uh, we have entered in amritsar and uh, we are still like 20 odd kilometers no 32 odd kilometers from our hotel so possibly it will take another half an hour to reach our hotel roads are good roads have been good after the last update which i gave uh, though it is a state highway you'll see a lot of bikes running on this road but um, you can easily maintain a speed of 80 kilometers per hour not 100 uh, reason being we have seen like multiple accidents on our way to Amritsar so it is just not suggested to be in a rush and we are also not in a rush because we know that we can now we can only do one destination which is Golden Temple so we are just enjoying the way uh, towards um, towards our hotel so guys we are entering in the Amritsar city we are only 9.6 kilometers from our uh, hotel and the time is 5.51 sorry 5.53 so it almost took us uh, we started our journey at 1 and uh, we will be reaching at around 6.10 or maybe 6.15 so it took us around uh, 5 hours to reach Amritsar uh, or to our hotel but we haven't really took any substantial break all the breaks were very quick breaks because we didn't have to eat anything we had our heavy breakfast at our hotel only so that is why we were able to make it in five hours else it's a journey of six hours if you are taking lunch breaks or something because that would eventually increase the time and as per the gps you should maintain a speed average speed of 100 and 120 kilometers per hour which is just not possible with city traffic so it is gonna take if you're coming from the lousy to amritsar it is gonna take like around uh, six hours bare minimum guys we have reached to our hotel uh, this is the room which we have taken in clarkson washrooms are not very clean but they are okay this is the room which we have it's a decent room not very good not very bad So we'll be heading towards um, Golden Temple now. We have booked a cab because the um, the ho the receptionist told us to go by cab rather go going by our own car. So we will be taking cab. We'll be updating you soon. Hello guys. So we are on our way to uh, Golden Temple. We are in cab, stuck in bit of a traffic in Amritsar. So we'll see you once we'll reach the golden temple so there are two gates at golden temple one is the front and the other one is the back so this is the way to go to the back gate of golden temple because the cab driver suggested us that it it receives a lesser amount of crowd and this is the market which you'll see uh, while going to the uh, while going towards the heritage walk so this eventually end at the heritage walk
so stay tuned i finally reached uh, to the heritage walk now here you see brothers daba and that is barwa the daba on this side you have a museum which is partition museum i don't know i'm not very sure about the uh, timings of this so we'll be going towards the heritage walk so the market on both side of this barwa the daba is a uh, hall market so enjoy the heritage walk this is the partition museum which i was talking about you can see this we also have a breakfast lunch dinner in this rang punjab here so guys you have haveli which is written it's open 24/7 So you can also enjoy the food there. So this entire walk is very beautiful. It's very clean. It's very neat, and you don't see much of a crowd here. That is another statue which you see on the heritage walk. So guys, this is Sara Gadi Sarai. I guess this is the stay provided by the Golden Temple. You need to check the details online. I'm not very sure. so probably you need to check it it's, it's very strategically placed so this would be a good place to stay if you're coming to golden temple so guys this is the way towards uh, golden temple there are a lot of shops on both the sides some of them are eateries some of them are uh, clothing another hotel which is very close to golden temple which is hotel city heart you have mcdonalds you also have seen uh, dominos few steps back so you have everything how beautiful this is absolutely fantastic we are heading towards our entry so at the back you see there are places where you can submit your shoes and here there are four different gates to enter we'll update you once we'll enter in the premises guys this is the golden temple we have just been able to do the darshan and now so after doing the darshan we did our dinner at bharwa the dhaba because of too much crowd we were not able to shoot our dinner and then we headed back to our hotel so signing off from here bye bye